Hey creators, let me show you something unbelievable. My mom was supposed to come today, but even on Christmas, she isn't here. <sighs> My grandmother said that if I ever do good deeds, good things will always happen to me. If I can fix this Christmas light and turn it on, maybe mom will come. <sighs> I think mom's here. <gasps> Yahoo! I can't believe this is happening. Mom, you are here. <laughs> yes, Jemmy, I am coming. <laughs> Mom, will you take me outside today? Yes, of course I will. Mom, I will go too. You didn't take me with you last time. <laughs> <laughs> this time I will take you, dear. Then it's gonna be so much fun. We'll tell Dad to come with us, too! Yahoo! Yahoo! Do you know you can make a complete short film in just a few hours using only AI? No camera, no actors, no expensive software, just your imagination and two free tools. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes, step by step, to create a full cinematic film using Whisk AI and Flow. We'll generate every image for free, build scenes, create camera moves, and turn everything into a smooth, emotional story. And trust me, if you stay till the end, you'll walk away with the power to create films faster than ever before, even if you've never touched editing software in your life. So let's not waste time. Open your laptop, because we're about to create magic together. All right, before we start building the film, let me show you a quick brief of how I created the images using Whisk AI. For this entire project, I use two simple strategies, and if you can keep these two things in mind, you'll get the best possible output. The first strategy is super easy. I generated a lot of scenes in Whisk AI, then I picked only the perfect ones and turned those into animations. The second strategy might feel a bit tricky at first, but don't worry, I'll explain it again later when I show you my full workflow. For now, here's the idea in a simple way. Let's say you generate your first image in Whisk AI, then you animate it in Google Flow to make an 8 second clip. Now, take a screenshot of the last frame of that clip. Use that screenshot as the first frame input for your next animation in Flow. What happens is, both videos transition so smoothly that it doesn't even look like two separate clips. Funny, right? But it works like magic. So I divided my film into three segments. First. I'll show you how I created segment 1, then we'll build segment 2, and finally, we'll complete the last segment. Let's rewatch segment 1 for a second. The scene where the little girl stands beside the window, opens it, looks for her mom, says a sad line, and then sits near the small table on the floor. And now, I'll show you how I created this entire segment in just 20 minutes. Alright, let's jump to the screen. So first, let me show you exactly how I started generating my images using Whisk AI. I simply searched Whisk AI on Google, clicked the first link, and landed on their website. Once you're here, you'll see a button called Try Whisk AI. Click on that. On the next screen, just hit Enter Tool, and that brings you directly into the main interface. Now, sometimes you might see a message saying, Whisk AI isn't available in your country. If that happens, no worries. Just use a VPN with a US server and it will work perfectly. Before I start generating anything, let me quickly show you the interface. Look at the top left. There's a small black arrow. If you click it, all the main options become visible. Whisk AI mainly has three sections, subject, scene, and style. In subject, you upload the reference face for your main character. And you can actually upload multiple subject images if you want. In scene, you upload an environment reference, basically the kind of place you want your output image to match. And finally, style. This controls the artistic style of your generated images. So the first thing I needed to do was design my little girl character. 
Since I didn't have any reference image yet, I had to generate one from scratch. I typed a simple command, create a cute emotional image of a seven to eight year old girl. Whisk AI did generate a photo, but it looked too realistic. I wanted a 3D cartoon style character. So I corrected my prompt and typed, generate a cute and emotional 3D cartoon style seven to eight year old girl. This time it gave me the exact look I wanted. Now that I have this image, I'll use it as my reference subject for the rest of the film. Now let's create the first scene of segment one. I wanted the girl to stand near a bright window looking sad as if she's waiting for her mom. So my prompt was an emotional seven to eight year old girl standing beside a large bright window inside a cozy USA style room. Once Whisk AI generated it, I downloaded the image. Next, I needed the second scene for this segment where the girl sits on the floor in front of a small table. So I used this prompt. The little girl is sitting on the floor of her room in front of a small table. There are some books on the table and a Christmas light. She sits with her head down, looking sad and disappointed. And Whisk AI generated a perfect scene for this too. So now we've created the two essential images we need for the first segment. Our next step is to animate them. Now it's time to bring our images to life. And for this, we're going to use Google Flow. This is also where we apply our second strategy, the one that makes all transitions look absolutely seamless. So here's the plan. We take our first image, turn it into a video, and then capture a screenshot from the very last frame of that video. We'll use that screenshot to create the next animation. That way, the two clips blend perfectly without any visible transition. It becomes smooth, almost cinematic. All right, let's jump to the screen. So first, I searched for Google Flow on Google, clicked the site, and then selected Create with Flow. After that, I clicked New Project, and that brought me into the main workspace. Flow gives you two options. Text to video frame to video. Since we're animating images, we'll select frame to video. I uploaded our first image, the girl standing beside the window, as the first frame. Then I gave this prompt. The girl slowly opens the window, then leans forward and looks outside, searching left and right as if looking for her mother. Her face shows gentle worry and sadness. After looking outside for a moment, she slowly steps back, turns around toward the room. And of course, I added more camera directions and environment details. All of those prompts will be included in the document for you. Our video is ready, so I downloaded it. Now here's the important part. I played the video and took a screenshot of the final moment, the very last frame. I uploaded that screenshot back into Flow as the first frame and used this prompt. The character's eyes are heavy, lips slightly trembling, shoulders slouched. Soft, cold winter light from outside reflects on their face. The character murmurs quietly, My mom was supposed to come today, but even on Christmas, she isn't here. Flo generated another beautiful clip. I downloaded it, played it, and once again captured a screenshot from the final second. That screenshot will help us build the next part. Now I went back to Flow, I uploaded the screenshot as the first frame, and for the last frame I used our second generated image, the girl sitting on the floor. I wanted her to walk slowly toward the table and sit down, so my prompt was, the character walks slowly and heavily towards the table, head slightly lowered, shoulders slouched, arms hanging loosely. Upon reaching the table, the character sits down slowly, letting out a soft sigh, maintaining a downcast, reflective expression. No dialogue is spoken. And just like that, the video was ready. No jumps, no hard cuts, just a perfectly smooth transition from one moment to the next. Let's watch the full first segment again. The complete emotional sequence from the window to the small table. As you can see, using this strategy makes the storytelling incredibly fluid. Now, let's move on to segment two. Now, the second segment is created exactly the same way as the first one. You animate your sitting character, take the last frame screenshot, and continue the chain. The same strategy, nothing new, so I didn't show that in detail. Now, let's move to segment three, which is the most interesting part. We first go back to Whisk AI. Before generating the final image, 
we need to create our mother character. I used ChatGPT to write the prompt, generated the mother's face, and downloaded that image. Now let's build the combined scene. Remember, Whisk AI has three important sections on the left side, subject, scene, style. In subject, you can upload multiple character face images, which will appear together in your final shot. So I uploaded both, the little girl's face, the mother's face. For scene, I uploaded the same room environment we used earlier, oh, so everything stays visually consistent. And then I wrote the most important part, the prompt. My prompt looked like this. Now I want to create a scene where the mother and daughter will sit face to face on the floor of the room. So I gave the prompt. Make the two of them stand face to face in a room. The child will be very happy. And Whisk AI gave me the result I expected. After that, I will go to Google Flow and upload this picture in the first frame. First one to three seconds, the little girl excitedly pleaded with her mother, Mom, will you take me outside today? Four to five seconds, the mother replied, Yes, of course I will. Last two seconds. At that moment, a 10-year-old cartoon boy came running and said, Mom, I will go too. Now here's the trick. When you want multiple characters talking in the same frame, you must mention the exact timeline in the prompt. See how I clearly separated. One to three seconds. The girl speaks. Four to five seconds. The mother responds. Last two seconds. The boy enters and speaks. This is the best way to control multiple dialogues in a single frame, but be careful. If you add more than three actions at the same time, Mom, the tool may get confused. Yes, of course the I video will. came out exactly as we wanted. Smooth motions, proper expressions, and all three dialogues in order. Now, just like before, we take a screenshot of the final moment of this video. This screenshot becomes the first frame for our next clip, allowing us to keep the transition smooth and consistent. In this segment, I place the screenshot as the first frame. In the previous video, the little boy had already spoken one line, and now he had one more line left. So I started the scene exactly from that point. I wrote the prompt like this. One to four seconds. The boy says, you didn't take me with you last time. Five to eight seconds. The mother replies, this time I will take you, dear. The little girl remains silent. I allocated the first four seconds for the boy's line and the next four seconds for the mother's line. The result came out beautifully. After watching time. the video, mm. I repeated the this same process. You, for the final moments of that video, I captured a screenshot and continued the remaining conversation. This time, the little girl speaks so first, fun. calling her we'll father to join to them and expressing too. her excitement. Yahoo! I wrote Yahoo! the prompt like this. The then little girl so excitedly says, we'll then it's going to be so much fun. Too. We'll tell Yahoo! dad to come with us too. Yahoo. Yahoo. Then the little boy says, Yahoo. And the mother just smiles. The output video was perfect again. Now, in our final segment, let's watch the complete video once more to see the results we achieved. My mom was supposed to come today, but even on Christmas, she isn't here. <sighs> My grandmother said that if I ever do good deeds, good things will always happen to me. If I can fix this Christmas light and turn it on, maybe mom will come. <sighs> I think mom's here. <gasps> Yahoo! I can't believe this is happening. Yes, Jemmy, I am coming. Mom, will you take me outside today? Yes, of course I will. Mom, I will go too. You didn't take me with you last time. <laughs> this time I will take you, dear. Then it's gonna be so much fun. 
we'll tell Dad to come with us, too. Yahoo! Yahoo! And this is exactly how you can create a complete film in just a few hours of work. It's incredibly simple. If you take the final screenshot from each clip and then use that screenshot to generate the next clip, you'll notice something amazing. There's no gap between the scenes, no awkward cuts, no harsh transitions. The story flows smoothly, clip after clip, just like a real film. Now think about it. With this method, you're not just making random AI videos. You're controlling the continuity, the emotions, the pacing, exactly like a director. Whisk AI helps you create the perfect images, Flow handles the animation and voices, and you simply guide the story forward using screenshots. Within an hour or two, you can create a complete narrative sequence that feels seamless and professionally crafted. So now that you know the full process, go ahead and try it. Pick an idea, generate the first scene, capture the last frame, continue the storyline, and watch your film come to life. This is the future of filmmaking, and you can do it right from your laptop. All right, let's wrap up here. I'll see you in the next lesson where we take this even further.